Hi everyone. Today we're in our special presentations room to answer the general question, how does my dental retainer get made? To help me with my presentation, I've invited George, who is a dental lab technician, and can explain the process from start to finish. Hello, glad to be of service. Okay George, come on up and start with the basics. Well, to start the process, a dental impression of the mouth is taken at your dental office. An impression is carried out by placing a viscous liquid material into the mouth usually in a custom tray. The material then sets to become an elastic solid, and when removed from the mouth retains the shape of the teeth. Next, the impression is sent to a dental laboratory. The plaster is poured into the impression in order to make an exact duplicate of the mouth. The result is called a dental model. The model is then trimmed to get rid of excess plaster. Any voids in the model are filled. Any bubbles found are removed. The wire bending begins in accordance to the prescription your dentist has laid out. We start with any required ball clasps, then proceed to bend the holly bow. Wires are bent and shaped according to the model. Sticky wax is applied to hold the, the wires in place. The model is then prepared to accept acrylic, the plastic part of the retainer. The acrylic is poured using a powder and liquid combination. The powder is sprinkled in layers, and the liquid is added on top alternating until we build up the layers to completion. If you are getting a custom design it would be added at this stage of the process. The retainer is placed in a warm pressure pot to cure. The pressure pot condenses the air bubbles and makes the acrylic look clear. Once the retainer is cured, it is removed from the pressure pot and carefully pried off the model, then the plastic is trimmed on a lathe machine. After that, detailed work is done with a handpiece. Next, to smooth the surface of the retainer, it is polished with a wet rag wheel and a pumice material. After smoothing, the retainer is given a high shine with a dry wheel and special polishing material. The finished retainer is then cleaned in an ultrasonic cleaner and some cleaning solution. It is now ready for use. This completes the process and the finished retainer is packaged up and returned to your dentist's office so that they can fit it to your mouth. Wow! That is quite a process. Well thanks for that very enlightening presentation. That's all the time we have for this episode. See you back at the Learning Center next time for more answers to your retainer questions.